and welcome to my kitchen and it is Friday night and we're going to have fish for dinner but we're gonna mix it up a little I want um, my family enjoys fish sticks I personally do not but I thought it might be fun to make my own version of fish sticks and that's what we're going to have tonight tonight we're going to be making my own version of crispy ranch fish fingers so come on along and see how I do it Started and very easy ingredients. I have about two pounds of tilapia here. You can use whatever firm white fish that you like, cod, haddock, flounder, white, uh, <clears throat> orange roughy, uh, any kind, striper, bass, bluefish, whatever. We're using tilapia because that's what I had in the freezer and we all like it and it's got a very nice flavor. F uh, tilapia is not fishy. If you do not like fish because you don't like the fishy flavor of fish, I know that sounds weird, but I totally am with you on that. I cannot stand fishy fish. It's just, ugh. Mm -hmm. Tilapia is meaty and clean tasting and you are gonna love it. So, tilapia. What I've done with the fillets is I have cut them down the center. There is a natural division in the fillet where it is. it kind of is separated toward the bottom and I just cut it right up the center. Now some of the fillets were larger so I did cut them smaller so they do look like big fish sticks really. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're going to, we have our breading station set up again only this time we're gonna bake these in the oven. We're not gonna we're not gonna fry. I don't feel like frying. I fried uh, the pork chops the other day and that was good for me for a while. And you know I'm not a big fan of frying but so we've got our pie plate with about a cup of flour. I have my pie plate over here with some uh, fresh frozen breadcrumb. This is my breadcrumb I keep in the freezer. And I say there's probably about two cups there, along with about two tablespoons of Cat's Cradle's Ranch dressing mix. We're gonna mix that in there to season it up. And that's all the seasoning that we're gonna use in the breadcrumb. This is gonna be really delicious. I'm gonna use my hands because that's how I roll. I didn't pick my nose before I stick my fingers in here, I promise. Okay. Now, instead of using eggs or milk or buttermilk, because these are a crispy ranch fish finger, I'm going to use my homemade recipe of Cat's Cradle's Ranch Dressing. So I'm going to pour some of this in here and you can see it's really thick. So I have about a half a cup of water here. I'm gonna just put some water in there with it and I'm gonna give it a stir just to loosen it up a little. We don't need it to be quite that thick. We want the flavor of the ranch dressing but if I dip my fish in there after I dip it in the flour it's going to be like a paste, ranch dressing paste. And I don't really need it to be that thick, but I want all that delicious flavor of the buttermilk ranch dressing. And then we've also put that seasoning blend in there. And then we'll get started. So, how do we do it? We take our fish, which has been rinsed clean after being taken out of the hermetically sealed individual filet package. And I'm using my fingers. So we got flour. And we got the ranch dressing mixture. And then we got breadcrumb, just like that. Roll it around, pat it down onto a pan that's waiting. <laughs> All right, we'll do one more. And I like to use my fingers. This is my own personal preference. I feel like I can get the job done a lot quicker. And I can just wash my hands into the flour, into the dressing mixture and into the breadcrumb. I promise you, your kids are going to love this too. And I know that some of you are celebrating Lent or observing Lent at this point in time. Um, you know, when I am uploading this video, 
And I know that people are always looking for a new way to have fish, um, especially if they're having fish Friday. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go ahead and coat all of the rest of this and then we'll be back and we'll pop this into our oven. I do have my oven preheating at 400 degrees. So we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, we're ready to put these in the oven. I am just gonna give these a really light spray with some cooking oil. This is just some sunflower oil in my misto. Really light spray. This is gonna help with browning and give them that nice golden outer crust. So we have our oven preheated to 400 degrees. And in they go. These are going to be in there for 15 to 20 minutes. We'll be back when they're ready to come out. Okay, we've just pulled these out of the oven and they look beautiful. Now remember, they're not going to look like fried fish fingers because we didn't fry them. We oven fried them, essentially. We gave them a little bit of a spray of uh, vegetable oil to give them the nice browning. You don't want to cook them too long because you don't want them to get too hard and you don't want them to over brown because then they'll be tough and uncomfortable to eat and they won't taste good. So I'm gonna let these cool in the pan for just a few minutes and then we're gonna meet you back over the counter and give you a serving of delicious crispy ranch fish fingers. You have it, a delicious basket full of homemade crispy ranch fish fingers. I made some homemade tartar sauce to go along with them. Of course you could serve them with ketchup or even ranch dressing if you like. However you or your family is going to enjoy it is how you should serve this. You can serve it with coleslaw, with you know waffle fries or whatever it is you like to go alongside your fried fish. So I hope that this inspires you. I hope that you learned something. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and Google Plus and Blogger. I have a blog over there and you can take a look at that. You can um, subscribe to that feed as well. And don't forget that every recipe that you see me um, do here on YouTube, with the exception of a few earlier ones, you can access all of the recipes over on my website, NareensKitchen.com, where you will find printer-friendly versions of those recipes so you can print them out and keep them for your own. So. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy.